Tragically, they were struck down by an anti-Semitic hate that has targeted our people on, in so many places and at so many times throughout our history. It has reached our doorsteps here in North America in its most heinous and unforgiving form. We must work together to build a future of light, of hope, and of peace. An evening of somber remembrance for the victims of a weekend rampage at a U.S. synagogue. Tonight, thousands gathered in North York to remember the innocent lives taken, including one with ties to Toronto. Good evening. They were gunned down during the Saturday Sabbath, and tonight, Toronto's Jewish community and others came together at Mel Aspen Square to honor the 11 lives lost at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. We call upon you, our Father in Heaven. Please wipe away the tears, bring peace to our land, and give us resolve to never again allow for racism, bigotry, or hatred of any kind within our community. A prayer for peace at a vigil tonight where thousands from the Jewish community and beyond gathered to remember the victims of this weekend's mass shooting in Pittsburgh. Joyce Feinberg, Richard Gottfried, Rose Mallinger, Jerry Rabinowitz. One by one, the names of the 11 victims were read out loud, one of them belonging to a 75-year-old woman who grew up right here in Toronto. At the end of services, our rabbi announced that there had been a shooting in a synagogue in Pittsburgh, and my first and only thought was, where's my cousin Joyce? Joyce Feinberg grew up in Forest Hill and was confirmed at the Holy Blossom Temple on Bathurst Street. It was there she married fellow congregant and University of Toronto student Stephen Feinberg, before eventually moving to Pittsburgh, where he would become a professor at Carnegie Mellon University. Her husband passed away in 2016. His funeral held at the same synagogue where Joyce was killed Saturday. It's shocking news and it's, it's heartbreaking because she, is, she was such a fine, selfless person. She always put others first. And it, it's just so hard to believe that she's not here. The news of this weekend's tragic event has sent a ripple through Toronto's Jewish community. Not simply because of the local connection, but because of where it took place and who was targeted. When I heard the news and everybody with whom I spoke heard the news, they saw themselves in that synagogue. They saw themselves sitting uh, with their prayer books open, looking at the Torah at the podium with the rabbi, and uh, a shooter coming in and targeting people simply because they were Jewish. A place of worship disrupted by gunfire as many wondering whether we've learned from our past or are simply bound to repeat it. We've seen hatred of Jews, and but to stoop to this level, this is truly the ultimate. And uh, this is not only a Jewish problem, it's a problem for everybody. You know, bad things happen when good people stand by and do nothing. Thank you, and good night. Tonight was about showing solidarity with local residents, politicians of all stripes, and members of different faith groups all standing together to say no to hate. Let us, all of us, right-minded people of all faiths, each in our own community, give bigotry no sanction. Hate begins with words. We saw this past Saturday where it ends. <laughs> Now, 20 members of Joyce Feinberg's family were in attendance at tonight's vigil. They will be flying out to Pittsburgh tomorrow. Her funeral is planned for Wednesday.